Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 1 of season 2 to my let's play of Agrarian Skies Hardcore Quest. This is a heavily modded skyblock survival created by Jaded Cat over at the Feed the Beast team. She is an awesome chick, she is responsible for other packs such as Magic Farms and Magic World. This is a bit of a take of Magic Farms on a skyblock scenario, but now in the update 1.0.5 and further, there is a brand new mod that is completely designed around this mod pack and this map created by Jaded Cat, and that is the Hardcore Quest Mode mod. And it is incredible, guys. Now, some of you may be thinking, so what is going on? Why? What happened to Season 1? Why is there a Season 2? What is going on? I made the decision last night, guys, that I want to start fresh on this series since this uh, the quest mod has been implemented because it is completely designed around this mod pack. I wasn't aware that it was such, such a heavily detailed mod and there was such, so, it was so deep. It is just incredible, guys. The reward system, the extra lives, the quest itself, the book itself, it is incredible, guys. As well, one of the biggest points is this quest book helps you progress through the mod pack, tells you what to do, what tools to use, what machines to use to do different things, and, and it is just really cool, guys. Some of you may not be happy whatsoever about this decision. You guys helped me so much in the first season with all your awesome feedback, giving me tips and tricks, and it helped me progress so far. But we were progressing through the mod pack as I wanted to. I almost wish that this wasn't released to the public until the quest book was implemented because it is crucial to this mod pack and it is awesome. So no further ado guys, I've made that decision. One of the deciding factors was I actually died as well last night with my bag of holding. And if you notice from episode 12 there, I put everything that I got from rewards inside the bag of holding, a very silly move of mine. I had pretty much every single expensive item I had was inside my bag of holding and I died and I wasn't recording and at the point in time I was really feeling like I wanted to restart anyway. It just sort of cemented my decision to do so. So no further ado guys, I'm going to get through this as quick as possible but as well enjoy the book as much as possible, read all the tips and I, do, I will be able to get through this a lot quicker than I did before, I think, guys. But we'll be able to work on some different stuff because we are playing through with the quest book, which gives you awesome rewards to work on different things that wouldn't be available otherwise. So no further ado, guys. Let's do this. I apologize for the restart once again. You guys may be very unhappy about it but I really wanted to do it and it, I need to enjoy what I'm doing to bring you guys entertaining content. So yeah, I've made this decision. It is final guys. Let's get into it. Season two begins now. Just another thing I should point out. I have also installed the jaded texture pack that is in the Feed the Beast launcher. You just select the Agrarian Skies version of it and it downloads it for you. Awesome, how cool does the red blocks, that looks really cool, the redstone blocks, bricks. They're all forged micro blocks, guys. This is a cool little house. Wow, the state, wow. This green clay almost looks like grass. So anyway, we're going to work through this as quick as possible while working on things the quest book ask, asks me to do and tells me to do because it's telling me what to do to progress through the quest book 
and how to survive more or less in this skyblock. So, just a little tip to you guys that haven't seen it before. Underneath this dirt block you get at the beginning is a dirt chest with seven more dirt blocks in it. So that's a cool little tip for you guys. We also spawn with some, um, some other books, open blocks. I know all of the stuff in there. And uh, materials and processing from Mariculture. I wouldn't mind looking into Mariculture eventually. So we've got our quest book, we've got some dirt, we've got also some sapling and some other books in here, materials and you. Um, we have bone meal, which we need. And that's about it. Well, they don't stack. Okay. So yes, um, let's listen to the lovely quest book and uh, it will give us the introduction to this mod pack, guys. So I will be listening with you. I will be quiet for this. It has been a horrible 10 years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk, Vizui, and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The great trio cast their spell to protect you, while the magician way of flowing time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One, and the Cute One have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch tree, get wood, get wood. Oh yeah, punch tree, get wood. I am excited guys. I'm not 100% sure why the I started looking at the crucible thing, but anyway, it seemed to just be a tiny little bug. How cool is that, guys? That is incredible. What a awesome mod, and this mod pack is just on a whole nother level again with this mod implemented finally. I am excited, and this texture pack looks awesome too. So it's something I thought I could bring different, to this season two compared to season one with the texture pack it is it has just been updated guys so uh yeah it hasn't been available for too long so that's uh that's cool it's available in the launcher as i said before so to get started grow a tree punch a tree get wood oh yeah bam so our first quest, guys. Let's do it. So that was the whole introduction. You can see here, that's everything the dude spoke about. We click here to get started, and we are on learning to skyblock. There are different categories of quests, guys. It is freaking awesome. There are so many quests to do, so many rewards, and so much stuff to do, guys, in this ser series. So... Let's continue. Our first quest, we have two quests to begin with. I think we will start with this one, just to begin with. So, using the book. This book is a new invention from VSWE, Scott Wares, and Lord Dusk. You may be wondering how to use this book. On the off chance that you have no idea what you are doing, this very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First off, 
If you right click on any page, you will go back to the previous page slash menu. If a, if a quest is dark, it is locked and you will need to complete one or more quests to unlock the quest. In the first menu of this book, well, you should have noticed several numbers sets of quests, some of which are locked. You will have to complete quests found in a different set to unlock new sets of quests. There are two types of tasks and two ways to submit quests for completion. The first type of quest is the crafting quest. This quest will tell you to craft a specific item or block. Once you craft the required item in any crafting grid, the book will update the quest completion. Awesome. Okay, so we need a wood plank. We can do that. Bam. Okay. Oh, it is raining too, guys. While it's raining, I am quickly going to do something before we continue with this quest quickly. It is crucial that I use something from the rain. And I'll show you what that is in a second. Now, you guys that watched my first series, my first season, sorry, you guys have seen me do all this, but hopefully I can do it a lot quicker and uh, make it a bit more entertaining for you guys knowing what I am doing. So quickly, I need to create a crafting table. We'll quickly turn it into a station because they are always better. Let's put that down and we need some planks and then we need some barrels. I think two should be sufficient. Now the quest does tell you to create these, but while it is raining, guys, I know I need these barrels. Uh, so we'll get those down quickly. So let's let this despawn. Um, oh, maybe now, now we've got the things we need. All I needed was two barrels. Yep. That will give me enough water to create a uh, infinite water source. Beautiful. So now we need to look at the quest book again and we'll continue these first, uh, guideline quests. We'll call them. I think that's what they're called. So, uh, yeah, we can claim an apple. Beautiful. We have done it. Crafting a wooden plank. Now, manual completion. The second type of quest is the consume quest. You will not get the items back after turning them in. They vanish into the stomach of the giant void monster, thereby preventing him from eating you alive. Consume quests can be completed by collecting the items required and clicking the manual submit button at the bottom right of the book under the quest requirements. Okay, so we've got a plank in our inventory. We just manually submit it and we claim our reward. What did we get? We got the QDS, the quest delivery system and a hopper. So we'll put down this here and we, well, let's read the quest book first. Now we have the QDS. The QDS, oh, that's weird, it stayed scrolled down there. The final way of turning in quest is the quest delivery system. This block will require you to send items through a hopper or duct attached to the block. AE buses can also send items to the delivery system. Oh. Before you send items to the system, you will need to key the system to the quest. Do so by selecting select task button in the lower right of the task page. Then right click the quest delivery system with the book and you should see a message in chat saying the quest has been assigned to the system. Now place the hopper on top of the block and place the requested items in the hopper. The QDS will void all extra items not needed for the quest completion. This is the only way to turn in quests that require fluids. You will need to use ducks to put the fluids into the delivery system. You can have multiple QDS assigned to different mods. Part of this quest is the ability to earn extra lives. 
You can combine heart pieces into full hearts. Right clicking with a heart will add one life to your total. Okay. Feed the QDS. Okay. Manual submit. Well, we can do it. We'll show you how this works. So we put the hopper on top of it and we manually submit a wooden plank. Oh, we didn't. Whoops. Uh, first, we need to select task, then right click. Now we can manually submit the plank and it's done as you can see. Whoops. So now we open the quest book and that's done. So awesome. Now, no help given. This one is, uh, I can't do this yet, guys. You need to put a hopper through the hopper. So um, I need to wait till have, I have a source of iron, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we can manually submit it. Will this break with my hand? Do I need a pickaxe? I shouldn't need a pickaxe, really. It should just be slow. Please don't destroy. Oh god, it destroyed. I should have known. I should have known. Okay, we could have manually submitted that. But that's okay. No help given. We can wait. We don't need that at this very point in time. So now let's go over to the other quests. That was a little bit of a fail, but uh, I thought I would check it out just in case. We can't just create pickaxes out of wood like you can in vanilla Minecraft, guys. So here we go. Here's where it begins. In the beginning. Let's scroll to the top. You may have noticed you have very little to start with. Almost no land, no food, but hey, you have a floor. Be thankful for that much. Now it is up to you to rebuild the entire planet or as much as you can before dying. To start with, I suggest growing some trees, oaks, will supply you with apples and the saplings, leaves and string you will be turning into dirt. Place three barrels outside where rain can fall into them. Already done. Well, I did two of them. Place the other two under cover to create a composting area. Once you have eight spare saplings, place them into a barrel to compost into dirt. You can compost leaves, rotten meat, apples, wheat and string. Use any eye to look up the recipes. Now, is it still raining? Yes. We might quickly try and get one more barrel down because it did say to get three. So let's just do that quickly. Beautiful. Now, I do need to do something else because before you guys start face palming at the things I am doing, I will place down some planks so that I'm not jumping to get up to areas so you guys won't get angry at me for doing that because it does drain hunger very fast here on hardcore so uh, let's break down the rest of this tree and we'll go back and we will work on this quest in the beginning so we have pretty much We've done a few things, I think, for this quest. We have done the barrel. Oh, we needed to create one more barrel quickly. Go like so. Awesome. Okay. Put that down over here. You can see the barrels fill up with rain. It is the only way to start to get a water source in this, even though you do spawn with water. Well, I guess, no, that's not exactly right, but it is something you should work on pretty early on, especially if it rains. We got lucky and it started raining pretty early here. So let us continue. We need all of this, these Tinker's construct parts and a few things from Ex Anilio. Uh, it gets you started on both of these mods with the basics. So we need a chest. I think we also need, we need to plant one more tree. 
Awesome, we got some spare saplings. I think I just need one log here. We'll grab two just in case. And we'll go back up and we will create, we've done the chest. Now we need some patterns and we do that. Wow, sticks look really cool in this uh, texture pack. So we can go like this and we create, I think we need one more. Okay, so we take one log and one pattern and we get the part builder. Then we need a crafting table and then a crafting station and we get a tool station and finally I think we need a stencil table beautiful is that everything oh and finally a crook do we have enough no of course not let's break down one more log Beautiful. And... Uh, what did I... Oh, yes. And let's create a crook. The crook is used for getting... It uh, increases your chance of getting saplings. And you get uh, a chance of getting worms from uh, leaves. Which is something you do need very early on in this in this uh, world. So let's see if we can't get a worm here nice and early on. They are very small and they're sometimes hard to see in your inventory but you do get them. Come on, there we got a worm. Okay, so we're gonna go somewhere else and grow this tree I think. I think up here. I will jump up here just for now. Don't yell at me too much guys. Let's put that down, plant that, and let's get this starting to infest. So you right click the worm on a leaf and it will start infesting all the leaves on a tree. So that's cool. Um, is that everything now? So we got the crook, beautiful. What do we want? Do we want the ax? I'm pretty sure there's another ax we unlock. I think I'm going to go with the Pan of Destiny, guys. So these are the pick one rewards. So you get to pick a one out of a certain amount of things. And then these are all rewards you get by default. So um, I don't know if the bags are random. Maybe I'll find out if I remember what I got from the first bag I got previously playing through these quests. So let's claim our reward. Look at that, we get some apples, nice for food. We got a reward bag and a quarter of a heart. We need four quarters to make up a extra life. So that's really cool. Um, and we have the pen of destiny, guys. What does this do, you may ask? It looks pretty cool. Um, it is a frying pan, guys. And it is sort of similar to a furnace but you can fit a lot more items in there and you will see at a later point in time how that works oh we can pick it up i thought will that destroy if i try and pick it up uh let's put it down in this corner no there we go all right we also want to put down our tool station part builder and stencil table. We also want to put down our chest and unlike the previous epic fail I had that you guys didn't see how I died with my golden bag of holding with all my good stuff in it, um, we're going to put all our rewards inside this chest. So what did we... Oh, we got bees, guys. Wow. Wow, awesome. Not really... I wouldn't mind of got getting these at a later point in time, but yeah. So I think the rewards are very random, guys. So, uh, that's that. And we have completed this quest. And we've unlocked the next quest. 
So, yes, we do get a stone axe from this. An enchanted stone axe at that. So, what to do here, guys? We need a lot of string. Let's see if our tree has infested yet. It is starting to infest. We will go and get all those goodies afterwards. We can create the hammer here nice and early, so let's well maybe not we need to break down just a couple more logs we'll do that very quickly here that should about do awesome we're gonna need quite a bit of string to do this quest let's put these in and we can create our hammer no, that goes there and like so. I'll tell you what the hammer does here shortly, guys. I will put our quarter heart in there as well. We need some slabs, some more slabs so that we're not jumping everywhere and just killing our hunger. Beautiful, okay. This is slowly doing its thing. Let's see if we can get some string from this. Oh yeah. Wow, string looks really cool. It's like actual string on a roll of string. Are these not infested enough yet? Maybe I should wait. That one looks infested enough. Wow. Oh, we got a little bit more string. We'll let it completely infest some more, and we will work on, what did we need? A fishing rod was one of the items. Beautiful. Okay. So that can be a source of food, but we need to increase the uh, water, the, the size of the water pool that we have, because... In the previous season, I could not, if my life was dependent on it, work out how to uh, fish out of this water pool. People said they could fish out of water along here, but I don't know. I don't know about that. So, let's break this last log if we can. And we also need some barrels. Do we have enough? We've got enough for one. I may be able to demonstrate here in a second. We'll put one of these barrels inside because we need that if we get some extra saplings at all. No good. I really want small trees. They're a lot easier to manage. Although the big tree does save you on a lot of bone meal. It's just a lot quicker to cut down these smaller trees and you don't have to build up and tower up just to cut down a damn tree. So let's see if we can get a surplus of maybe a surplus of saplings. Maybe not. Do we have, we might be able to get our string here in a second. Let's quickly cut down these logs. Punch them down, I should say. Almost wishing I grabbed that axe instead of the frying pan. But uh, we will use the frying pan, guys. So, let's cut this bad boy down. I will be making this first episode an extra long episode, guys, for you. Um, because it is... It's, I know it's a bit of a pain watching me start again and so on and so forth. But... Let's um, put that in. And we need some more crooks. So let's make a couple crooks. Beautiful. And we will try and get some more saplings. How many do I have? Eight. Ah, uh, we need one more, guys. One more. Can we get it? Come on. Give me one more sapling. Okay. So, with eight saplings, I will show you a cool thing to do that I will work on very early on in this. 
uh, that I think that will help me progress very quick through this is um, <clears throat> getting a pair of shears, but I'll show you that at a later point in time. So we need a lot of dirt to begin with. So we put it in a barrel. It slowly compo composts into dirt. As you can see, it slowly changes color over time. It's really cool. Ex Nihilio is an incredible mod, but while that's doing it, Let's go and harvest this tree because it has completely infested now. Hopefully we will get enough string to do this. I'm not getting a lot of string though. Come on baby. Come on. Okay, how much did we get? There's a bit of string all over the place. Maybe some went down the water and we lost it. Maybe. Um, but let's grow another tree here quickly. So let's punch this one down. Come on. Okay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We don't have a spare sapling, actually, so... How much string did we get? Not enough, but we do have enough to do a few things. One I want to do here right away... ...is create a bed. Oh, cool. Beds are purple. We might put this outside for now. Oh, wow. That bed looks awesome. Let's sleep it off quickly so that we get some some daytime up in here that's a little bit scary maybe if I fell off the edge while spawning there uh, let's see if we can get one more sapling quickly to make another tree another infested tree I should say awesome you do your thing what else do we need? Now we need a lot of string for the sieve. That's the last thing we need. Okay. And that's all we can work on at the moment. Oh, we should probably read the tips for this one, guys. Or did I already do that? No, here we go. Okay, We're, we haven't read the tips for this. Okay. String is the gateway to all resources, and by God is that true. Fishing rods will provide food. Sieves are used to sieve dirt, gravel, and sand, and dust to obtain stone ores and other resources. To get string, you will need to break your leaves with a crook until you receive a silkworm. Right-click a leaf block on a newly grown tree with the silkworm. Walk away. When all the leaves on the tree have turned white, break them with a crook to get string and more silkworms. When you have extra silkworms, you can cook them for food. So I did work on that a little bit before reading it, guys, but that's only because I wanted to get the infested tree growing as quick as possible. So you can see here now, guys, we have more dirt. That's really cool. Once we have the sieve, we're going to need this dirt. I am going to come over here. I want to leave this island untouched. I don't want to break a single block here because I'm going to build away from it, guys. And leave this as a bit of a what we started with type of thing. And we won't touch it. We'll leave it a complete virgin land. So, uh, let's put down some dirt here. I think we'll chuck down four bits for growing wheat on once we get some wheat, which I think we get from a quest we are close to completing. Yes, we can select. I'm going to select the weed, the uh, wheat seeds, I think. So, um, let's see if we can get some more string quickly. Hurry up, why don't you please... Okay, let's 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 let that do its thing. 
I'm going to sit here and just grind a heap of trees, guys. Wait till that completely infests, and I will be back with you. I need to grind quite a bit of saplings so that I can get quite a bit of dirt to work on the first thing I want to do that isn't completely about the quest book, guys. And that's uh, what I'm really trying to concentrate on in this season two is 100%ing everything in this quest book. Okay, so I will be back with you guys once this is completely infested and I've grinded a lot more saplings to create quite a bit more dirt. So I'll see you then, guys. Okay guys, we are back and I wanted to show you guys what happens when you start starving. You can see up the top right hand corner of my screen tells you what sort of, uh, what your hunger is at. You may be peckish, you may be hungry at the moment, I am starving. Now unfortunately with the hunger overhaul mod, apples only give you half a hunger bar guys, so we, we really want something better than apples, so what we need to do is create a hoe, and we are going to hoe this dirt we just placed down. But, uh, oh, I didn't show you guys. Whoops, you get slowness and mining fatigue from uh, going under three hunger bars. So uh, th that makes things a little bit more difficult to get around. And if you're far away from your food source, maybe you'll struggle getting back to it. But uh, anyway, we've got apples for now. So let's uh, mung down on those. And we should have enough. Uh, string here to do our final item for the string quest. String theory, I think they called the quest. Um, so we need, I think, 18. How many do I have on me? 11. We're getting pretty close. Heaps of string. Beautiful. 17. One more. Thank you. Okay, so now we come over here and we take the string and we put it in a full grid and we get silk mesh. We want two of those. We also want some more sticks. We want four planks like so, the two silk mesh like so, and two sticks like so. And we get a oak sieve. Awesome, 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 awesome stuff. So, what does this do, you may be asking. Damn, bird. Get out of my video. Um, this sieve is awesome. What you do is you take dirt and you put it through the sieve by right-clicking on it. How cool is that? Um, so that, that you can do that with dirt, gravel, sand, dust and a lot of other items. And they give you cool stuff like stone and other things, but unfortunately um, I didn't get any. Let's see, one more bit of dirt. And we got nothing too special whatsoever except some stone. We'll show you what we do <coughs> with those in a second, excuse me. Um, so now we can, we're finished that quest. Beautiful, smooth as silk. So string theory, we completed that. Now your first stone. Like I said, a job well done. You have proven yourself that you can stay alive in this new world. The cute one might be impressed, but don't count on it, that you haven't killed yourself yet. Now the time has come to get working with wood. Let's put those trees... You've grown to some good use. Find the stones hidden in the dirt using a device which the great transmutation lords have created just for you. Oh yeah. So, we take these stones and we put them in a 4x4 four four and we get cobblestone. Oh baby. And we have completed smooth as silk. We are going to go with wheat seeds, I think... 
From my previous series, toast was a really good food source. We'll look into other food sources in this series a lot more, um, but that's one of the categories for the quest. So we'll work on that eventually. But uh, yeah, we're gonna choose the wheat seeds and we're gonna get a stone ax, beautiful. And another quarter heart. Lovely, lovely, okay. So let's put the other quarter heart in there. We want to take our seeds and plant them. Awesome. Now, let's get some better food up in here, why don't we? So, uh, with the Hunger Overhaul mod, you do get more than one wheat per thing, as you can see. You usually get three, and you also get... Uh, Wow, did I? Oh yeah, you get seeds. It's a bit confusing that seeds are in the bag already. Uh, same with like the cotton on the roll already. It's a little bit weird, but um, okay. So then what we do is take that and we can create bread. But bread only gives you uh, one and a half hunger bars. But what you can do is take our frying pan that we made and we put in the bread and we put in something to cook it. Awesome, you can see the frying pan doing its thing. Where's the progress? Oh, there we go. So we do have a progress bar now. I'm pretty sure this is cooking all five pieces of bread at once. So let's put in a cup, let's just put in all those planks for now and uh, yeah, we have completed this quest, so we have unlocked some more quests. So fishing is something that I need. I need to do melting stone, work on the crucible and the clay bucket before working on uh, the fishing thing. So I'm going to have to cut it here, guys. You can see this is nearly done. Oh, no, it's only one piece at a time. Okay, true. But maybe, oh, maybe if you had it in separate slots, perhaps that would cook multiple pieces. Perhaps, I don't know. But as you'll see, this will fill two hunger bars, which is really cool. So we have a wheat farm now. We need to get a light source up in here, but we need a lot of cobblestone, guys. And I'm going to do that from the way you saw before. I will be sieving dirt off camera. Um, I will have the possibility of getting some seeds from that. But uh, that's not too important. So you will see that maybe uh, when we get back. But Or maybe I'll just wait and sieve the dirt all on camera. So we can show you guys all the different stuff you get from dirt. We'll probably do that. But we need a lot of dirt before doing so. So I'm going to grind the hell out of some trees and we will slowly get some dirt. Okay, well, depending how lucky, see what I really want to do, like I said at the start, I want to get some shears. So this is where our wooden hammer comes into play. What you do with your wooden hammer is break the wood, the cobblestone with it and you get gravel. You can't do this with a pickaxe type of thing. It has to be the hammer. There are higher tiers, obviously, same as tools, wooden, stone, iron, gold, diamond, hammers, all of those. Um, but you take the gravel, and what, what we could be doing is creating clay straight away, because um, we need clay for the crucible. But what I'm going to do is, this is going to help me really progress through the start if I get lucky and get quite a bit of iron early on. So we're going to try and do that. We got appetite and broken copper. We got some coal, nice, and some flint. So quite a bit of stuff from gravel. We got some nickel. I really want iron, guys. This is where sort of luck comes into it a little bit. We've got two nickel, one of the most useless ores, in my opinion. 
And a Quicksilver drop. No iron yet, guys. So I need four bits of iron. I can use those. You put the crushed ore in a four two by two grid and then you get a block of ore. But I also need cobblestone to create a furnace to smelt those ores. So I can get... Um, because it's a lot easier to use leaves for a for a source of dirt instead of saplings because saplings are a lot more rare. Anyway guys, I will be back once I have a lot of dirt and we'll show you guys what you can get from dirt and we'll show you guys what we can get from some more gravel and stuff like that. So I will be back. Like I said, this is going to be an hour long episode here, episode one to season two, but that's just so we can get as far ahead as possible here, restarting and all that. So I will be back with you guys shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I have grinded a little bit. I haven't been able to do as much as I wish I had, but I am a bit limited on time, guys. I am working tonight, working night shift at the moment, so my sleep schedule is just all over the place. But anyway, we have managed to get seven pieces of cobblestone. We are slowly going to use this cobblestone. I was going to work on shears, guys, but I've completely run out of bone meal virtually. Um, I'm trying to make big trees here. You can force trees to grow bigger by forcing the sort of places they can grow. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but that does work. Uh, but I have used all my bone meal. I was really struggling to get saplings, guys. Anyway, so what we want, we were going to go through a heap of gravel, but, and I wish I didn't even use this cobble that we have made already, but what we want is two pieces for now. We want two pieces of gravel, we're going to put that down, and then that's going to give us sand if we hammer the sand, if the, the gravel, and then if we hammer the sand... Beautiful, we get dust. Now we want one of these dust, we put it in the barrel, and we get clay. Awesome. Then we put the clay down, break it, and we get clay balls like you would in vanilla. Now what you need to do with these clay balls, what we're working on guys, is the next quest. So melting stone. To get started processing the various materials on the map and eventually powering the many machines you will need, lava. Lava is created by melting cobble in a crucible over a heat source. Torches, lava and lit netherrack all work as heat sources. Clay buckets can be created and used to move fluids. A clay bucket can move any fluid except lava as often as you want. Once you move a lava, the clay will break from the heat. Move water for your cobble gen before moving the lava or be prepared to make more clay buckets. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, guys. We have worked on that before. And what we need to do for that is create an unfired crucible and an unfired clay bucket. So, we need this bone meal, guys. This bone meal is crucial and it's why I saved it. Because I need a certain amount of bone meal for this. So let's put that there. Yeah, so we, are, we need one bone meal per clay. And then we take the clay... Um, porcelain, I swear, unfired clay bucket. Where are you? Oh, it's not. Uh oh, uh oh. So is it only for the porcelain crucible. Let's put in our other piece of dust. I forgot this was the case. That's all right, that's all right. At least we did that first. So let's create the bucket. And then I believe for the unfired crucible, 
we need the porcelain clay. So we need seven of those, so we need another three. So I think I'm going to have to use one more piece of cobble. And go like so. And we'll grab the gravel, turn it into sand, and so on, so forth once again. And put that in, and we get the... Uh, clay back now we do have a clay bucket so we can i think yes i need to put it through a furnace though guys to complete it um but let's break this clay Alrighty, we only need three more beautiful okay that's the only reason i need bone meal so we have both of those at the moment we're going to bone meal that. I'm trying to get these to grow. They take quite a bit of bone meal. Um, they do grow, I promise you guys. They just take a bit longer sometimes. But it does force to grow a big tree. I guess without bone meal now, this doesn't really matter though. Because I just need trees growing as regular as possible. So, for now, we are going to break... No, we don't want to break anything in this world. Uh, in this, on this island, because I want it to be, like I said in earlier in the episode, like virgin land, so we can come back here and say, this is what we started with. So let's go like that. Let's place a torch underneath. And then we need this to be... There is another... Oh, we should have finished that quest, though. I wonder if it gives me anything. Look, firing the pottery. We need a slab furnace, guys. It is simply made out of cobblestone slabs. But it is a little bit of a troll, and we need two more. I've sort of got enough, but you need the other two cobblestone to actually make the slabs. So we need that to happen before we can do anything else unfortunately and we have run out of bone meal unfortunately as well so i can't really fast forward things here anymore guys because of that fact now i think it needs to be daylight for this tree to grow faster possibly well, like i've said before i'm a bit of a noob when it comes to vanilla aspects of minecraft has that wheat grown I shouldn't be jumping. Especially because I have no bone meal. No, 86% growth. Okay. That's getting there slowly. Slowly. So I'm really stuck at this point of time, guys. And I am limited to time. I may try and get a little bit more cobblestone and get that completed. But I don't think... No, I'm not going to be able to, guys. Unless... Unless I take this piece of dirt and I take... No, that's the only spare piece I have. Come on, baby. Okay, did it give me enough? It didn't give me enough. Oh, I need another two as well. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have even done that. We do have enough. Oh, hang on, hang on. wish there's no other there's not like tinkers construct shears is there oh hang on no only inver shears and they're pretty much only used for the crafting recipe for mine factory reloaded machines i am pretty certain so uh this slab furnace is pretty cool i don't know if it's less efficient than a normal furnace or what the go is there now, I doubt I'm going to get enough to do this, probably. Yeah, that is really... If this would hurry up and grow, this one tree I am waiting on growing... Give me five pieces of stone, please. No. One more... Oh, mana bean, nice. 
We need one more piece, guys. We don't get saplings from this either. Uh, is there anything else we could use? It does take wheat. And those saplings were very close. Do the worms count as well? Oh, they do. We might get there, guys, actually. Wow, that color is all weird mixed between the three of them. Okay. And the tree grew just as I... Just as I got enough for it. So, will we get more saplings? I need more saplings because I don't have any. Oh, yeah. We got one at least. So, we should have enough here. Hurry up, turn into dirt, do your thing. Because uh, probably the start of the next episode, or maybe even in between now and then, we will create a very simple cobblestone generator. I made a bit more of a technical one in the previous episode, in our series, sorry, but uh, yeah, season. Derp. I'm sorry, I'm really tired, guys. Working night shift has messed with my brain. Okay, so we should be able to create a cobblestone slab furnace. Well, it's called a slab furnace. And as it is named, it works like a slab. It is pretty cool. So, bam! Awesome, little furnace there. So, we can cook our food in that, but we could already cook our food in this, so this is really just for cooking ores, so on and so forth, but we should be able to claim our reward, guys. Oh, this is... Which one shall we select? I think the first one. Okay, we got another quarter heart, and what did we get from the reward bag? Matt, we should really should clear some inventory space here quickly. I would love two pieces of iron. That would just be a godsend as a reward. Um, let's sit another chest over here. And we'll put these ores we've been collecting. Stuff that we've been sieving. Okay, beautiful. Now we can fire these as well. We'll do that while we're waiting. Put that in. And we should... Let's open our reward bag. What the mysterious magnet? Something else for bees. Again, guys, more bee stuff. Okay, that could be good further on down the line, but... At the moment, I have not one clue what these things do. Either of the bees or anything. Um, let's put this in. And we have our crucible, guys. So, we can put that on top of the tor torch. And this, I need to feed cobblestone to get lava. It is quite a bit of cobblestone, about eight of, eight of it. But once we have that one bucket of lava, we can create our cobblestone generator. The other thing I was worried about is what do I, without digging, what do I create? So I think I will dig out here because if I'm not mistaken, I do have room to, if I break this block, I don't think, do I get it back? Oh God, I'm breaking the virgin land. No, we're going to have to replace that at a later point in time. Kyle, you silly bugger. Esso, I should say. Okay, Kyle. Anyway, um, so that's going to do its thing, but I need, I need a lot more saplings, guys. So now it's going to be a bit of an AFK process for me, just planting each tree as we go and waiting for it to grow. And then the next tree, so on and so forth. I wish I got a bit luckier with saplings. Maybe I got a lot, a few more bigger trees. Although I hate cutting them down. They are very good uh, efficiency-wise bone meal. So let's just cut this down. We'll let this tree grow. And we need heaps more saplings. Another thing, guys. Oh, we had some wheat grow. Nice. 
food is sort of getting a bit scarce as well. We don't have a lot of apples and we don't have a lot of wheat. So, yeah, I may need to really AFK things a lot by uh, just like literally just can't, sitting in a room next to where I'm growing the trees and just do everything there. Don't walk barely at all because this is going to get pretty scarce on food. So maybe I can sacrifice one life, but I'm pretty sure I will spawn with very little hunger again. So yeah, best of luck to me, I guess. I can't really do anything else at the moment, guys. We do have my bucket, so I guess I can create... We're going to have to fix this clay at a later point in time. But just for now, we will break it. Because we will create an endless water source just here. It won't be too hard to fix later on, guys. Shouldn't be jumping. Okay. Let's go up here. Yep, that's right. That's an endless water source. So let's go over here, place that down, and we'll place the other source down. And then we have our endless water source. And we will design our cobblestone generator. We'll do all that off camera, I do believe, guys. So we'll just fill these up for a later point in time. And yeah. I really do hope you have enjoyed episode 1 to season 2 of my Let's Play of Agrarian Skies. I'm really glad I've restarted, although it's doing everything I have done before. I don't mind the grind. I enjoy it, really. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind too much. We'll try and catch up as quick as possible, but we want this whole season to be designed around... 100%ing every quest, guys. Every category of quests. So, that's what we will do by the end of Season 2. I promise you. And, uh, yeah. So, we will be back in Episode 2, guys. I will get that out as soon as possible after Episode 1. We just need to grind a bit off-camera AFK, obviously. Doing quite a bit of work getting a lot of wheat hurry up and grow wheat please and trees i need lots of everything rate the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new to my channel leave your feedback down below in the comment section with your tips tricks and all that although at the moment you guys have sort of told me everything you know and everything i should be doing at this point in time so i'm still using all your tips from the previous season once again, I hope you don't hate me for what I have done and my decision to restart this series. Yeah, peace out. I'll see you in episode two. Laters, guys.